Hey everyone, it is Nancy Ann and Ruger. We are coming to you from my home gym today. I'll explain why in a minute. For one of my very favorite styling service try-ons and reviews, the exquisitely styled and beautiful clothes in front door fashion. Today it's front door fashion, my very favorite, one of two favorites of all of the styling service boxes that I have unboxed, reviewed, and done try-ons for here on my channel. The other one would be JB Style Box. Before we get into this, I just want to say hi and welcome. If you're new here, I really appreciate you kind of taking a look at me and giving me a shot, seeing what my channel's all about. I do um, style fashion unboxings. I'm trying to get into other types of unboxings that are not fashion related. And I also do hauls, a little bit of lifestyle, all sorts of fun things. I would be really honored if you would subscribe. And just thank you very much for being here. Everybody else, thank you so much to all of my loyal subscribers once again for tuning in and watching another unboxing of the fabulous front door fashion. You may notice Ruger has exited stage left. We've been doing a little configuring. I moved the bed. He thought he might like that. He got huffy. He wanted to go upstairs with daddy. Then he decided he was gonna come back down and now he has retreated to the normal room where I usually filmed for the bed that he's used to being in. The reason he's doing that is because I had to move out here. I have a big sewing project going on in my, my, uh, my studio, which is actually my sewing room. Okay, that was a lot of explanation about the dog, but he may reappear at some point. He's definitely got his own personality. Alrighty, I am gonna give just a little bit of a rundown about front, down, front door fashion, uh, because it's one that isn't unboxed quite as much, and I think it's sometimes good to give a little bit of a description. It is a styling service, uh, much like Stitch Fix, Wantable, those, except there's a key difference. There is no styling fee on this. However, there is a $100 deposit that gets paid on it. This deposit is refundable. So they charge my card, the charge has gone through. Uh, if I do not spend $100 here today, they will refund the whole thing. So there's really no loss, but you do have that kind of upfront cost. This is a very, very personal styling service. I can call, text, or email the stylist to tell her what I'm looking for. This time I told her that I would like some pieces that will help me transist into fall, because we're getting really close to September here. And honestly, my summer wardrobe's looking pretty good. I could use some sprucing up in fall. And you're saying, but why are you wearing that sleeveless dress? Well, it's because I also asked her if she could help me find a pink dress for my daughter's baby shower at the end of August, and she sent me this one. So we'll talk about it in just a minute. The items arrive in a box like that. They are in a garment bag. They come with a little plastic bag that has some goodies in it. So um, the little paperwork that says, hello, uh, gorgeous, these outfits have been hand selected by your personal stylist. There is a handwritten note on the back, then it gives you the rundown about trying on. You have five business days with Front Door Fashion to try your items and get them sent back, which works out to a calendar week. Um, and then it talks about the deposit and all that's good stuff, I believe. It's just a rundown of how it works. Now let's move on to the dress that she suggested I wear to my daughter's baby shower at San in San Diego at the end of this month. Um, they're having a little girl and we're very excited and the guests are going to be trying to wear pink. And I asked Rachel again if she would help me find a pink dress and this is what she sent me. I think this is a very pretty dress. This is the London Times Shirt Color Block Dress in Azalea Pink Size Medium. It is $118. I think it's a great price on this dress. It feels like a very lightweight fabric. Perfect for San Diego. I could throw a little sweater over top if it gets a little bit chilly. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's a really great dress. Let me show you from the back. I love that it's sleeveless. I probably would tie these ties a little bit further back, but just for simplicity's sake, I decided to leave them the way that she had tied them. And I just have them on with a little pair of wedge heels that are already my own. Um, they do have something new on the invoice I'm noting, noticing where you can scan to look at the shoes that are suggested. 
However, I don't have shoes suggested because front door fashion doesn't accommodate my size at 11. They stop at 10. She also included with this to go with all of the dresses, a beautiful little pair of, there we go, of earrings. They're so cute. They've got the little rhinestone at the front, the teardrop. These would be, well, I'm so sorry, guys. These would be fantastic, except my ears aren't no longer pierced. They, uh, they grew together, so I need to specify that with her. Let me take a look real quick and tell you what these are before we move on to the next outfit. These are the Sorelli Ariana French wire earrings in polished pearl and they're $85. So I think they're beautiful. I think at 85, there might be some genuine metals or a genuine pearl in there. I'll take a look in a minute. This one I was really, really excited to try, probably more excited than any other little collection in the box. So we have this beautiful, I believe this is a silk, little tank great transitional piece that will work for me now while the weather is warm and then as a layering piece later on that is also what she suggested and then these really neat boyfriend jeans they've got some distressing on them they are just above the ankle on me kind of right above my ankle bone here i am five foot nine for reference if that will help you this can be a little bit of an awkward length for me i have a feeling they're probably supposed to be just a skosh longer but i can make them work so let me turn around and show you the back of the shirt first. It's just a simple little, simple little tank. And oh, the back of the jeans, that's why I went that way. So there we go. At first when I put these on, I thought that the jeans were gonna be too big through the waist, but it did what so many jeans do. And as I wore them, uh, as I'm wearing them, they're starting to kind of custom fit to me. I found this to be the case often with really high quality jeans. Hey, we're about to get graced with your presence. Ruger says, hello, are you gonna come see? Okay, hang out with us. And I have one viewer who's been wanting to see you, your whole body, not just you curled up. Well, there we go, guys. Ta-da! Ruger has decided to enter the video. Had to make his appearance. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just so surprised he was so comfortable in there. All right, and with this, she suggested that I wear it with, and I love this, this beautiful, really comfy, blazer now i did not realize this was going to be so comfy when i tried it on i'm going to move my microphone let me give just didn't want it to get muffled there i love this blazer you guys i'm in love with this blazer it's so comfortable and i think because of the soft fabric it's it's kind of molding more to my body let me turn around and show you the back so these are the uh, Tarte Collection Essential Blazer in medium heather gray size medium, and it's $120. I think that's totally worth it. Does it have a split in the back? That's No, I think it goes straight, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I think that's totally worth it. I love this blazer. You know what, guys? I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, two of you, and I think there might be another credit rolling in by the time I check out with this box, have used my referral link and with front door fashion if you use my referral link below you get a $50 credit towards your first purchase and in doing that I also get a $50 credit so I've heard back from some of you who have really enjoyed the uh, your experience with front door fashion and you also get my stylist Rachel she's fantastic so uh, thank you to the people who have used my link that's gonna help me out a lot so I have at least a $100 credit possibly 200 on that box, this box. So this is gonna help me a lot. Alrighty. So we had the uh, Essential Blazer by Tarte Collections for 120. Then this is the Caballero Collection Lily Top in Wine Cup Flower, size medium, 175. Now that's the, the little uh, tank, but she said it's a brand based out of Spain and it's known for its bold prints and feminine details. That might be a little steep for me, but I have to say, I absolutely love this little tank. Then we've got the um, Liverpool, oh, these are Liverpool, uh, real 2629 boyfriend. Not real sure what that means. I'm guessing the tw is the 26 the length and 29 the waist maybe? The color is Peoria, 
Oh, nope, the size is 30. Don't know what 2629 means. <laughs> and they're $98. Now we are on to the Michael Stars Trudy Crew Neck Tank. Uh, it's one size. And she told me that she knows I love the color purple, which I do. It's one of my favorites. And she wanted to send this to me. But this was really, it feels more blue to me. Does it feel more blue to you? Anyway, uh, it's a crew neck. Crew neck is not my favorite cut at the neck. This isn't super tight though. I think it's okay. This is $78. Did I already say that? And it's one size. And let me go ahead and just put it on with the blazer because it was part of that collection. So here we are with a little blazer. Oh gosh, I think that's a really cute look. Yeah, I like that. Probably would leave this one unbuttoned. Next up, we have this really cute chambray dress. It's got pockets at the sides, has a little belt that can be tied or knotted. I decided to go with tying because that's how she had it hanging on the hanger. I like that it's not real voluminous around the hips and it just kind of skims over my hips. I think it's a flattering look on me as far as shape goes bring up close and let you see isn't that pretty got nice soft ruffle what is concerning me a little bit about this is I'm not real sure it does much for me I mean I realize it's a flattering dress I'm just not sure it's 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 special on me I'm gonna need to think about it a little bit because I really did want to try this dress on this leans a little bit more I think towards summer but I can see with a jacket or a little sweater how this could be uh, going to fall and she suggested you could wear this with a variety of different shoes all the way from sneakers to heels and she said that in the fall it would look killer with a pair of high boots which I completely agree okay so this is the London Times Ruffle Button Front Dress in Light Chambray. This is a size 10 and it is $118. Next up, we have this pair of cropped jeans and I believe this is a Vince Camuto blouse. So let me start with the jeans and then we'll talk about the blouse. I love this frayed detail at the seam going down the outside. Isn't that so cute? I really like that. It says it's supposed to be an ankle length on me. It's higher, so I would call this more a cropped. Um, it is frayed down there at the hem at the bottom, so uh, something to keep in mind, but I, I think these are awfully cute. I really, I really do like them. However, the waist is just a little big, which is fine. I got a really fabulous belt from my second front door fashion unboxing several months ago that would solve that problem. But I'm wondering if that is creating, it's kind of like there's a little bit of loose bunchiness, the crotch just a little bit. Um, then again, maybe not. I'll probably just take it upstairs and play around with it to see what I want to do. But there we go. That is the jeans. And now let's talk about this really cute top. I like this way more than I thought I would. Um, it's very, very soft. It almost feels like a little bit of a slubbed fabric. Not quite, but it's got that, it's definitely not your shiny, smooth, slippery fabric. It's just very soft and lightweight. I can see this working now in the summer because of the lightweight, and like in the evenings particular, but then transitioning, transitioning <laughs> over into fall just fine with a jacket over top. Uh, we've got a little bit of a square neckline, but it does have uh, a V-neck. I'll take this off so you can see. That's not my microphone. It has a little V in the front. I'm wondering if it's a little big. Um, it feels like it could, there's my bra strap. It feels like it could, it could slip off. Um, I don't know though. I think it's a medium. I'll take a look in a minute. It is elasticized here, um, at the sleeves, which almost gives a pleating effect, I think. But I think I would always be scooting this up. I could wear it with a strapless bra though. Though wrist, the, <laughs> the sleeves, him is elasticized. So you can wear it down like this or pushed up like that. However you please, I kind of like mine above the elbows because they feel a little more secure and like they're just not gonna go anywhere. This is the Vince Camuto three quarter sleeve ruched blouse in classic navy. Oh, it's a size medium and it is $79, pretty standard price on Vince Camuto. And then the jeans are DL 1961 Mara, um, 
MR 27 inch ankle straight. I'm assuming that's medium rise, although these are a high rise. These are definitely around my, my belly button. Uh, in Classic Riviera, they're a size 31, $209. Okay, let's move on to this really pretty blue top um, and the Liverpool trousers. I'll start with the trousers. Typical Liverpool, it is a really good quality, especially for the price. The fabric feels substantial. It feels like it's a little bit smoothing and it has a little bit of stretch to it. It has four pockets, two in the front, two in the back that are currently sewn closed. Of course, if I kept them, I would open them up. And I really like the leg opening. So this kind of gives a little bit of a skinny feel, but it's not tight to my ankle down there, which I think is preferable when you've got some hips to you. It just creates a teensy tiny bit of width there at the bottom to give a little bit more balance to your figure. And it is right above the ankle bone on me. I think on most people, this probably would be a literal ankle length. The reason why I'm not liking them, again, I am the person who has extreme portion proportions. Um, this really could be a couple of inches smaller at the waist. This is a size 10, if I remember correctly. Now we've got the jade shirt. Um, Rachel said she sent this one to me because of the color. She thought I would like it. She's right. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Love the V-neck. It does have a seam down the middle of the front. So that's a little bit of extra construction, extra bit of work, a little, extra, little bit of detail to get you a little better fit um, in tops like this. And it's got an elasticized smocked uh, oh, at the edge of the at the edge of the sleeve down here, and then it's got a ruffle hem, and there's a little bit of a ruffle up here around the neck as well. So I really like this top. Let me pull it out for you so you can see the length. I believe it can be worn in or out. Really like this one. I can also see this with different jackets. So let's do a talk about prices on these two items. We have. The Liverpool Kelsey um, trouser in black, size 10. These are 89, very typical price for Liverpool trousers. And then the Jade V-neck ruffle top in royal, size medium. And this one is $99. I have been looking for a little black dress. And if you watched last, last week's Stitch Fix video, you know two came in that one and neither one worked out for me for different reasons. So I was super excited when I took everything out of the box to see this dress. And Rachel mentioned that she was trying to help me find a little black dress. I think this is just fantastic on several levels. Um, first of all, the fabric feels really quality and it feels very substantial. It is a knit with a stretch, but it's not your typical uh, kind of loose weave knit where you feel like it could lose its shape as it hangs in the closet. This just feels very, very strong, substantial knit. It is lined all the way down to about here. So it comes, the lining comes up a little bit high. There's no danger that the lining will ever peek out from underneath, but um, that helps, I think, with the drape and helps it to hang nicely over curves and lumps and bumps with while disguising them just a little bit. Love the wide v-neck and I really like the fitted cap sleeves. I can tell this is a very nice quality dress. There's one problem I have with it though for a little black dress and that is the length. Honestly, I, I would need to be careful about bending over. If the dress was three inches longer, or I was three inches shorter, we would have a winner right here. This is Bailey 44 Victoria dress in black, size medium, $188. Last item up is this darling dress by Sunku. So much to like about this dress. I love that it kind of has a little bit of that 40s, 50s feel that I love so much, like the 40s, 50s housewife, but in an updated way. It is a tiered skirt. There's a tier here and a tier here, but I love it when the tiers don't hit me at the widest place of the hips, which this does not. Has buttons down the shirt waist here. It's a shirt waist style. And it's got these sleeves that have the puff, which I love. I love the print. I think this is cute. It looks like a really great little dress for fall. There is a self belt with it. The self belt is almost pointless 
I tried tying, I tried bowing like it is, I tried no belt, didn't make any difference. It just blends right in. So here is the back of the dress if I didn't already show you. I think this is an awfully pretty piece. Very, very soft and it is lined fairly far down. So let's look at the price. This is the Sunku Caitlin dress in blue, but B-L-E-U like blue cheese. Um, it's a size large and it's 192. I'm gonna be back in just a second. We'll take a look at everything and see what I might like to purchase. Let's talk about this uh, front door fashion. Didn't Rachel do a fantastic job of curating this box for me? Uh, it feels very, very customized to me. This is completely my style. I love front door fashion because it's beautiful pieces of beautiful quality. Put together just for me. I do have some credit with them because a couple of you, as I said earlier, did use my link. You got $50 in credit on your first front door fashion um, and a couple of you have told me how you enjoyed the experience. Thank you very much and that also got me some credit and again thank you so much because that's literally what keeps me going with these boxes. Okay, now with front door fashion, if you keep Sorry, got to reach down and get this. All the pieces, you get 10% off. The total on all 13 pieces and eight outfits here, before any discounts, was $1,656. The 10% discount for keeping it all is $165.60, which would bring it, the total down to uh, $1,490.40. But my $100 deposit would be applied to that, which would bring it down to $1,390. And then any credit I have will get applied back towards that. Of course, I'm not keeping all the pieces. They did not all work for me. One thing I love about Rachel is that she does say, I hope you find at least a couple pieces in here you can keep, which like takes all of the pressure off. I never feel pressured to keep a lot of pieces with front door fashion. And it's always such a pleasure to try these gorgeous pieces of clothing on. Okay, I had said that I would talk to you, uh, see if, if there was any genuine anything in these uh, earrings. I don't believe there are. They're $85. The pearls might be real. I know for sure. I'm not surprised that the metals, of course, are not precious metals at $85. Okay, the pieces that I'm considering keeping. <sighs> this dress, I like this dress a lot, but I don't I don't know that I need another dress like this, although I have to say the, the sleeves are just killing me. They're just <laughs> so cute. And I do like the print. So I'm not saying no to the dress yet. I'm just gonna take it upstairs, play with things, look at total price and decide exactly what I want to keep. But this is definitely not a reject. Alrighty, I've got the first pair of jeans I tried on the Liverpool that had the distressing at the knee or above the knee. Again, this is another pair. They're the boyfriend jeans that I'm going to take upstairs. I'm going to try them on with things in my closet. I'm going to consider, uh, consider these um, and just see. I have a lot of jeans right now, but I did very much like these and they had good distressing without me feeling like the jeans were falling apart on my body. <laughs> the other item I'm considering is very expensive is the silk uh, top from the company that's um, Caballero the, in from Spain. This is an expensive top. I believe it was $195. Uh, if you could feel this top, I think you would understand why I'm considering keeping it. It's in the running. I can't keep all the pieces I'm liking, but this is one that is a contender. One piece I know I'm keeping is the blazer. It's very soft. Um, it doesn't feel um, like it's tightly constructed, but it looks very tailored. And I, I love this blazer and it's staying here with me. I needed a current gray blazer anyway, and I very much appreciate her sending that. And I really liked the way it looked with this top. Okay, next up, that also looked cute with the blazer, is the blue, bright blue top, the royal blue. Considering keeping this one, again, I'm gonna go and see how well it plays with everything else in my wardrobe, and I'm wondering how many three-quarter sleeve tops I have. Um, right now, I'm wanting to spend my money on things I, I really need and uh, really work well with everything else in my closet, so we'll see. I'm thinking about the dress. Um, I wanna get a look at the footage and see how it looks on me. I'm wondering if the tears hung funny on my hips, but this is a super, super cute dress, and it would be absolutely perfect for my daughter's baby shower. 
And then the last thing I am considering keeping is the square neck top. This felt a little bit big on me, but I, th I think if I was broader shouldered, it probably would stay up just fine. But I think if I wear a strapless, dra a strapless bra and I have a very good uh, strapless bra that I like, whoops, sorry, let me get in the middle, with, um, with different pieces and it stays up well. I mean, I'm, I'm a difficult size. I'm a 34F and this bra works good. I should do a video on bras. But anyway, um, I think if I wore it with this, I would really enjoy wearing this top. So I'm gonna give that a try and see what I think. Well, there we go. There's my front door fashion. I would love to know what you think. I would absolutely love for you to weigh in on this try on and review of this terrific company. If you enjoyed this video, uh, I would appreciate it if you would give it a like, a thumbs up. Of course, everybody always says that. Again, if you would like to subscribe, would be absolutely honored. Hit the notification bell if you would like notification of other upcoming unboxings. Comment down below. I absolutely love interacting with you guys. I'm sorry this one got a little bit long. It was hard not to make it long with 13 pieces of clothing and eight different items. And I appreciate you all hanging in here with me as always, until the end. And we will see you on the next unboxing. Bye-bye and be blessed. Whoops, I didn't show the whole thing. Ah, I got a front door, I got to move sideways. So, blabbity blabbity blah, move sideways, front door fashion, and try not to look at the camera to see if it's, okay.